Hey friends, uh, so I know uh, this mode in StarCraft can be pretty confusing, so I'm just going to do a quick video, it shouldn't even be five minutes long, uh, just to give you guys the basics. So um, I'm going to start with Mordor just because it is the best way for me to show you guys the fundamentals. So as you can see this is a replay, uh, I was playing as Mordor. Now I'm not going to talk about the, the dynamics between all the different factions, just going to talk about the basics. Okay, so these Void Rays are called Special Transports. They have a Mass Recall ability. Now just remember that because it will come in very important later. Uh, you have two healers to start with. They are very important. Uh, this mode lets you build more, but you don't want them to be in harm's way. Usually you'll keep them in the back, maybe around here, if I was Mordor, if I was attacking over here. Then when your heroes are done attacking, you bring them back, get them healed. Now speaking of heroes, every faction has heroes. You know, they'll spawn in different places, usually in some fancy way. So here you can see I have Witch King, I have Gothmog. Over here you see I have Will of Sauron. Over here you see I have Shelob. Blah, 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 blah. Now heroes are essential to this entire game. Heroes are your damage dealers, everything that respawns from your different spawning locations are just used to help your damage dealing heroes do that damage. Generally speaking, you don't micro the respawned units, you just micro your heroes. Uh, hotkeys can help with that a lot, uh, but it you know, doesn't matter. Now here, this gas at the top right, all that means is that you can upgrade spawns uh, one at a time. Uh, you always want to upgrade your main spawn, in, in the case of Mordor, Baradur, because that will make the spawned units stronger and stronger as the game goes on. Now, these things are called Palantiri, or Palantirs. Uh, they are invincible and can give you vision. So the first things you do in a match is group up all of your uh, non-hero units, ideally, um, and I'll usually put them on a hotkey. You group, up, you group up your heroes, put those on a different hotkey, and then you have one hotkey that has all of them together. So that hotkey that has all of them together is for that main A-click attack, and then you hit whatever your uh, hero hotkey is, and then you micro those to focus turrets, whatever you want. Now, if you're a defender, like uh, like Gondor being attacked by Mordor, then you can double click your turrets and focus fire on heroes. Usually it won't kill them unless they're pushing too far in, but it will slow them down considerably than if you just had your heroes attacking. So you can see here I gathered my heroes, gathered my spawned units, got them all together. Now this game has different dynamics for different factions. Mordor attacks Gondor, normal stuff. Evil Men, which is orange, uh, can attack either Gondor with uh, Mordor, or they can hit stuff like the elf base up here, elf base up here. They have options. You've got Isengard facing off against Rohan, etc., etc. Now, the key of playing this game, the key of making it not take ages to play, is you need to make sure that if your heroes can't run away in time, you use those aforementioned Void Rays, where did I put it, to teleport them to safety. So you throw down a Psy Storm, your heroes run into the storm, and they get teleported to under your Void Ray. Now these are really, really important basic mechanics. Um, the only other things are turrets. Any kind of turrets and defenses are not pushovers. You want to focus them with your heroes, unless there are heroes to focus on the other team. And you want to make sure that you don't take them lightly. You want to use those massed units to kind of shield your better units while you take those out slowly. Um, that is, I think, all the basics. Don't forget to upgrade your spawns, keep your heroes safe, uh, make sure they're upgraded, so down here you can upgrade them 
uh, as they kill things or kill heroes, they'll level up. Um, that really is the essentials of it. Uh, and honestly, this game is a lot more simple once you get the hang of it. So if you have any other questions, just let me know. But uh, yeah, that's uh, about the basic kind of rundown I wanted to give you guys. Uh, the only other thing I would say is... <laughs> that's funny. The only other thing I would say is that you want to make sure that you have uh, goals. So you don't just want to like attack here once, then attack here once. Like Because defenses are strong, you usually want to focus on one spot. Um, work with your teammates, just like any other game. And once again, make sure your heroes are nice and safe and they will be essential later in the game. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, the only other thing I would say is that Evil has the advantage early on, but once the Fellowship goes through their little quest, uh, which takes them from here to here to here and then into Moria, once they get out of Moria, they go to Rohan, trigger the Helm's Deep fight, and then that gives good like eight or so extra strong heroes and that's when they can start tipping the tides they can help gondor stay uh, not just stay alive but push mordor back they can help rohan take out isengard they have the most uh, kind of freedom at that point so evil's goal is to get that advantage early on and good's goal is to survive until then now there's one area where that's different which is up here. Green is elves, yellow is dwarves. Generally speaking, both of them attack Misty Mountains. Now, the first target is usually Goblin Town, but the point is, uh, up north, good has the advantage. Down south, they have a disadvantage. And then when Fellowship comes out, that dynamic can change. Um... That's about it for the basics, guys. Uh, I know it might have been a lot to take in, but uh, that's kind of why I made this video. You can watch it again if you want to. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, I just love this game mode. Uh, it really means a lot to me to, to play it with actual friends, and I really hope that you guys give it a chance. Um, and I think once you understand how the game works, it gets a lot, lot more fun. Um, and there are other maps different from this that have uh, tweaks to these mechanics. You know, those are mo there are maps where you can buy spawns, uh, where factions can get more spawns as the game goes on. Um, there are factions where, like, for example, Mordor is a lot more spacious and less densely defended. And so good has the advantage in attacking. Um, and it's just different dynamics in that sense. So yeah, the point is, there's a lot of freedom in this. You can role play, you can enjoy, you can play like a Middle Earth, um, or you can just enjoy the play and counterplay with uh, the other players. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and and once again, friends, uh, I hope you're all having a good time, having a good day, and and doing well. Yeah, that's uh, about it for me. Peace.